What's up, Internet? When we talk about gaming, we think GPUs, frames per second, refresh rates, yung pang computer games or console games. But when most people think about gaming, they think about the casino, roulette, poker, gambling. What kind of gamer are you? Actually, you can be both. You can combine your love of gaming, computer games, with betting by betting on computer games. So, ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindiki ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com so I started online gambling because I got invited. If we give you free money, do you want to try it? And of course, it's like, free money? Of course, why not? Let's do it. But it wasn't really free money. What was given to me was a token, which was the unit of betting for that particular platform, which you can trade in at a fixed fee for a cryptocurrency, and then you can sell that cryptocurrency on the market. So the monetization or the unit of measurement of the bets wasn't a fiat currency. Rather, it was a token, which you could convert to crypto, which could then be converted to fiat. So initially, not as simple as just throwing some money at a betting site. But if you like complexity, there was an added wrinkle to it since the value of that crypto could go up or down depending on its fluctuations against your home currency. Sinusugal mo na nga yung pera mo, betting on games, you might as well gamble it a bit more, gambling on the exchange rate. And to be honest, I was quite impressed with the user interface of the platform. Yun nga, hindi naman ako nagbebet ng madalas. I don't do any of these online gambling things. But it was relatively easy for me to understand how to make a bet. And the scope was very varied. You had all kinds of sports games from the usual NBA, NHL, NFA, lahat ng mga ends nandun. But you also had Indian cricket, baseball, all kinds of weird sporting events happening all around the world you could bet on it using the platform. And aside from sporting events, there were also eSports. So they had Counter-Strike, Dota 2, all of the usual games. I'm not that much of a numbers guy, but the UI presented it in a user-friendly way. Also, it wasn't too complicated. The betting didn't involve having to bet on the final score because there are variants of that. Yung nagtataya ka, not just on who will win, but on what the point spread is. So the guy in charge of this betting platform was like, yes, we'll send you free tokens, hardware, sugar. And since I'm not a betting kind of guy, hindi ko alam. Like, I just have very general knowledge of the NBA. Kahit yung mga esports, di ko talaga sinusundan yung mga teams and sinong mga best players. Since it was free money for me, and I just needed to try out the platform, I started rolling the dice. Literally. <laughs> I would have two teams or two players to choose from. Basically, who's going to win? A or B? So I told Google to give me a random number between 1 to 6. If an odd number came out, then I would choose player or team B to win. And if an even number came out, my bet would be for team or player A. And I was terrible. You think it's just a flip of the coin, 50-50 chance of winning. But in reality, it just doesn't work out like that. Mathematically, if you go for a very long sequence, like 1 million times, yes, it's gonna even out to 50-50. But in the real world, two choices very rarely ever come out to an exact 50-50, especially in small sample sizes like the one I'm talking about here. So I started incurring losses quite quickly. Talagang bumagsak yung balance ko ng token na yun. But I've talked about the platform a lot, how easy it was to use, the wide variety of games available for betting, but di ko na lang pinakita. Where is the B-roll of this platform? I have no B-roll because I was thinking I would take B-roll after I tried it out. After an experience ko na siya, babalik ako sa platform and dun ko na if film na, oh, I'm placing a bet, oh, I won a bet, oh, I lost a bet. The problem was this particular platform collapsed. <laughs> And I guess this is really the problem with online gambling. 
to be fair to me, I did some basic due diligence. I looked up the platform. Mm. Maayos naman ka usap yung nag-blind email sa akin. So I thought, yes, you know, it's a very competitive sector of the online space. But I thought these guys had a shot at creating something viable, creating something long term. To be clear, I didn't put any money into the platform. They sent me a token. That's the one that I used to bet on the platform and my losses and earnings were incurred in that token. But what I did lose was time. Imagine if I were a professional or semi-professional gambler. I would put money into the platform by buying the crypto that would enable me to get that token. And then I would invest my time making bets on that platform. And even if I had zero money out, I had time out. I used up time experimenting with that platform. And apparently, even if they look legit, they can go under quite quickly. This is not the first time I had a semi-bad experience with crypto. Now, long-time viewers know that I do trade crypto regularly. I have been doing so since Bitcoin was ancient, nung CPU mining pa siya, and single USD digits pa yung value niya. So, been in the crypto space for a long time. But there are a lot of developments now. And like two years ago, I remember a crypto, you know, somebody randomly just messaged me na, hey, do you want to try this new crypto game? And so I didn't try it, but I posted about it on our YouTube channel and our Facebook saying that, you know, I've never tried this, I'm not endorsing it. But maybe it looks interesting because it has an actual gameplay compared to the other crypto games out there. Axie Infinity, I got super bored with the gameplay. So in my mind, if somebody made a crypto game that an actually decent gameplay, then that would be something worth looking into. And the one who cold emailed me, it seemed like that did have some potential. But either it just flamed out quickly, it never got off the ground, or it was just a scam. And that's really when, to be honest, I felt that, okay, I gotta be a bit more careful because it's not just my money, although I didn't put in money there, I didn't put in money to this particular exchange. But it is my time and also it's the trust of the viewers when I do say that I've been in the crypto space for a long time then I start you know just randomly suggesting things that in my mind kasi parang buyer beware user beware na yan in this very volatile space and that's always my mindset going into a crypto project or an online gambling project that I have no idea about oh, wait a minute when I'm talking about it in such a public forum like YouTube when I post about it on our Facebook then people might think that, yes, I'm endorsing it, that I'm saying yes, that that's a good idea. Which is also why I'm doing this video to urge you to A, do your own due diligence. Although if you're smart, and you are because you watch Hardware Sugar, you probably already know that. But also B, to take into consideration the time investment that you're doing. Because if you're careful, you either won't invest any money on the onset or invest a very little amount, which you are happy to let go in case you never get it back but you could never get back the time that you put into it. Ako, inisip ko na lang, di naman talaga na sayang time ko because I can talk about it now in a video and it's also my own personal experience. Like, I'm learning more about this space because actually, it was a very good platform. But I guess I just ran out of money. There was actually no emails to the users that biglang nag-shut down na yung platform. I just went to it one day actually to start getting B-roll for this video and then hindi na-accessible yung site. So this is hardly a groundbreaking video. It's old news to people who have been in the online gaming space or the crypto space. But even for experienced hands, it's always good to be reminded to A, do your due diligence. B, don't put too much money in if you do want to put money in. And C, never discount the fact that even if you don't put in money, you're putting in time. I don't have a personal interest in online gaming, but it was interesting to try. Yun nga, sobrang slick ng platform. And it was just kind of fun to randomly roll the dice and bet on some water polo team in Kazakhstan or basta sobrang lawak nung coverage nung platform na to. And I was kind of sad to see it go. I thought it was a good idea to have online gaming but so sort of anchored around the token slash crypto exchange rather than fiat currency up front. But well, it's really hard to come up with those kind of projects to get them off the ground, to make them viable. Till then, I'm very happy just saving our money so that we can pour it into the crapshoot, which is the hardware sugar shop, where our expenses for the hardware are super expensive. And to be honest, that's really where all of my spare cash goes to, to keeping the shop afloat. So no cash for betting, 
I did have time for betting, but that got sucked up into a project that crashed and burned. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.